Welcome to Innovative Instruments. Configurational parameter for VA Clev. To enter in configuration mode, press and hold set and up key simultaneously for 3 seconds after that lock code will appear. Press up key to make unit digit 5. Press shift key once to move the cursor to next digit. Press up key to make unit digit 1. Lock code will appear as 15 press set key to change configurational parameters. Parameter 1, set point higher limit. This parameter allows the user to set maximum limit for set point. Parameter 2, process value offset. Function of this parameter is to add or subtract a constant value to the measured process value to obtain final process value. Parameter 3, Input Filter. The controller is equipped with an adaptive digital filter, which is used to filter out any extraneous pulses on the process value. Parameter 4, Input Filter. Select Relay if load is connected via contactor. Select SSR if load is connected via SSR. Whenever user selects SSR, cycle time will automatically set to 1 seconds. User can modify cycle time via control list. Parameter 5, Input 2 Type. By setting Input 2 Type to None will disable Input 2 function. By setting Input 2 Type as 0 to 10, instrument will accept 0 to 10 volts. By setting Input 2 Type as 4 to 20, instrument will accept 4 to 20 mA. Parameter 6, Input 2 Resolution. By this parameter user can select Display Resolution. Display Resolution equals to 0. Display Resolution equals to 0, 0.0. Display Resolution equals to 0, 0.00. Display Resolution equals to 0, 0.000. Parameter 7. Process value to offset. Function of this parameters is to add or subtract a constant value to the measured process value to obtain final process value. Parameter 8. Process value to offset. The controller is equipped with an adaptive digital filter, which is used to filter out any extraneous pulses on the process value. Parameter 9. Analog range low. By this parameter user can select low scale for input signal, which can be between minus 1999 to analog range high. Parameter 10, Analog Range High. By this parameter user can select high scale for input signal, which can be between analog range low to 9999. Parameter 11, Unit for Pressure. Unit for pressure will be PSI. Unit for pressure will be KGCM. Parameter 12, Auto Tune. If disabled, this parameter will not be prompted if user presses Shift key for 3 seconds. If enabled, this parameter will be prompted if user presses Shift key for 3 seconds. Parameter 13, Control Set Point. If disabled, User cannot view and edit the control set point in user list. If enabled, user can view and edit the control set point in user list. Parameter 14, air set point if disabled, user cannot view and edit the air set point in user list. If enabled, user can view and edit the air set point in user list. Parameter 15, exhaust set point. If disabled, user cannot view and edit the cycle end set point in user list. If enabled, user can view and edit the exhaust set point in user list. Parameter 16, exhaust set point. If disabled, user cannot view and edit the cycle end set point in user list. If enabled, user can view and edit the cycle end set point in user list. Parameter 17, High Alarm Deviation Set Point. If disabled, 
user cannot view and edit the alarm set point in user list. If enabled, user can view and edit the alarm set point in user list. Parameter 18, fail safe deviation set point. If disabled, user cannot view and edit the fail safe deviation set point in user list. If enabled, user can view and edit the fail safe deviation set point in user list. Parameter 19, device ID number 1. Set device ID for communication. Range, 1 to 9998. Parameter 20, device ID number 2. This is a view only parameter. This device ID is for pressure. The device ID will be the very next ID after temperature device ID. Parameter 21, baud rate. By this parameter user can select baud rate for communication purpose. Baud rate equals 9600. Baud rate equals 19200. Baud rate equals 31250. Baud rate equals 38400. Baud rate equals 76800. Parameter 22. Parity. By this parameter user can select baud rate for communication purpose. Parity none. Data bit set. Stop bit 1. Parity none. Data bit set. Stop bit 2. Parity odd. Data bit set. Stop bit 1. Parity odd. Data bit set. Stop bit 2. Parity even. Data bit set. Stop bit 1. Parity even. Data bit set. Stop bit 2. Parameter 23. Lower display. If toggle selected, by pressing up key, lower display will toggle between timer value, control set point, and pressure. If timer value selected, by setting this parameter, lower display will only show timer value. If control set point selected, by setting this parameter, lower display will only show control set point. If pressure selected, by setting this parameter, lower display will only show pressure. If auto selected, by setting this parameter, lower display will show set point till it reaches a set point, after which it display pressure till soak timer starts, and once soak timer starts it shows soak time value. If input 2 selected, by setting this parameter, lower display will only show input 2. Parameter 24, User Lock Code. Default user lock code value is 15. This is the last parameter of configuration mode. Press set key to enter in run mode. Run mode. Control mode for VA clev. To enter in control mode. Press and hold set and down key simultaneously for 3 seconds. Press up key to make unit digit 5. Press shift key once to move the cursor to next digit. Lock code will appear as 15 press set key. Parameter 1. Proportional band. This parameter sets bandwidth over, which the output power is adjusted depending upon the error. The value of this parameter is automatically set by auto-tune function. If set to 0.0, .0 the control action becomes on-off. Parameter 2. Integral time. This parameter sets the time taken by the PID algorithm to remove steady state error. Value of this parameter is automatically set by auto-tune function. This parameter will not be prompted. If the value of proportional band is set to 0. Parameter 3. Derivative time. This parameter defines how strongly the controller will react to the rate of change of process value. Value of this parameter is automatically set by auto-tune function. This parameter will not be prompted if the value of either proportional band or integral time is set to 0. Parameter 4. Cycle time. User can set this value based on process being controlled and type of output being selected. For relay output, cycle time should be more than 12 seconds. 
and for SSR output, cycle time should be less than 10 seconds. This parameter will not be prompted if the value of proportional band is set to 0. Parameter 5 Control Hysteresis This parameter will be prompted only if proportional band is set to 0. It sets the dead band between on and off switching of the output. Larger value of hysteresis minimize the number of on off operation of load. This increases life of actuators like contactors but also produces large errors. Parameter 6, Air Hysteresis. It sets the dead band between on and off switching of the air output. Parameter 7, Hold Back Strategy. Timer will not pause if hold back strategy is selected to none. If up selected, timer will pause if process value is outside hold back band and above set point. If down selected, timer will pause if process value is outside hold back band and below set point. If both selected, timer will pause if process value is outside hold back band, both above and below set point. Parameter 8, hold band. It sets the temperature limits with respect to the set point for the soak timer to stop. Parameter 9, soak time delay. The value of this parameter sets the activation time for alarm when soak timer is over. Setting this parameter to zero will make alarm output continuously on at the end of soak time till user starts next cycle. Parameter 10, Power Fail Recovery Method. If a bot selected at every power on, a new cycle will have to be issued. If start selected, the timer reruns the complete soak time. If continue selected, the soak timer resumes operation for the balance time. This is last parameter of control list. Press set key to enter in run mode. Run mode. User list for VA Clev. To enter in user list, press and release set key once. Parameter 1. Control set point. User can set the required set point at which the controller will maintain the process value. Parameter 2, Soak Time. The time base for soak timer is in minutes. Once the process value reaches set value, the soak timer starts decrementing. Parameter 3, Air Set Point. User can set the required air set point at which the output will go off after initiation of cycle. The air output remains on till it reaches a set point. Parameter 4, Exhaust Set Point. User can set the required exhaust set point, which would be taken into account after the completion of cycle. Once the cycle gets over, exhaust output remains on, until exhaust set point. Parameter 5, Cycle End Set Point. User can set the required cycle end set point at which the alarm goes on once the process value comes below this set point. Parameter 6, High Alarm Deviation Set Point. User can set the required high alarm deviation set point. If the process value goes above this, the alarm output remains high. Parameter 7, Fail Safe Deviation Set Point. User can set the required fail safe deviation set point. If the process value goes above this, the cycle is aborted and heater is switched off, along with air outlet valve is opened to release the pressure. This is last parameter of control list. Press set key to enter in run mode. Run mode. Auto tuning mode. To enter in auto tuning mode, press and hold shift key for minimum 3 seconds in the run mode. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is PID. By default auto tuning function is not initiated, its default value is no. Auto tuning function can be initiated by setting this parameter to yes. During auto tuning, controller learns the process characteristics by itself and calculates required P, I and D values. User can cancel or abort this feature by setting this parameter to no. Thank you for watching.